Hi, I'm Rick Howard. In my job, I get to travel a lot. At least that's what I say at the beginning of our weekly videos. My favorite time of year is Epcot's International Food and Wine Festival. This year, Food and Wine Festival runs from September 27th through November 11th. And for the whole month of October, we'll be bringing you a new video each day from one of the festival marketplaces around World Showcase. As our guests, we'll have wine experts, chefs, and great friends because there's no better way to enjoy Epcot's International Food and Wine Festival than with food, wine, and great friends. Welcome to Epcot's International Food and Wine Festival on Travel with Rick. Well, hey guys, welcome back to another of our Epcot International Food and Wine episodes here on Travel with Rick. Hey, Leslie, how you doing? Yeah, good. Good to be here with you. It's awesome to have you here. This is my lovely wife, Leslie, and uh, we're here in the country of Greece. Actually, I guess the marketplace of Greece would be more accurate. And we've got a ton of stuff here to try. What do you think about all this? It looks delicious. Every you bit of it. I'm looking forward to it. You know, they say that um, Greece is said to have laid the foundation for Western civilization, having a large influence on Roman Euro Empire and European culture. So, Greek food is incredible. And um, I guess, you know, if we were in um, Spaceship Earth, we could say we could thank the Phoenicians for all of this, right? You know, that's a line for Spaceship Earth, sorry. Um, but it is really cool. 80% of Greece is mountainous, 50% is covered by forests. Did you know that? I didn't. We looked it up on Google. Um, there are about 3,000 Greek Isles and only only a few hundred um, which are inhabited. That sounds like the Bahamas. Yeah. yeah. No, not quite. But anyway, it's pretty cool. A um, lot of cool stuff in Greek, Greece, a lot of cool food, which is some of the stuff we're going to be trying. Unique. Let's, um, let's check this thing out here first. I see a lot of olives here. Yes. Um, so, I will do the this olives. is actually a taste of grease. It's grilled and marinated calamari. Um, I'm not even going to try that other thing. Eggplant dip, olives, and pita bread. So I would say this is probably the eggplant dip. I would say that's the calamari. We got some pita bread here. So what do you think? Very good. Pretty cool. It's kind All of right. spicy. This is spicy. All right. So let's try this out here. I'm going to try this out. What is that? I think this is the eggplant dip. I would think the darker one's the eggplant, and this one's the eggplant. Okay. Interesting, then. Yeah, that's eggplant. Okay, so I'm not sure what that one is, though. Maybe that's the... the How did you that say that, John? The word we can't enunciate. Hippiti. Yeah, so maybe it's hippiti. It's very good. It's kind of got a little spice to it. Calm calamari's good. Like it. Um, yeah, I just kind of showed that up there. Yeah, just kind of like little slivers of calamari. Um, it's really good. Got some nice olives there. Leslie loves olives, so I know you're going to really dig mm -hmm. that. All these little wonderful black olives. So I'm glad you pulled the country of Greece. This actually worked out well for you. I did. I, I love Greek food. And really, Mediterranean food of any kind. Mm -hmm. We're big, big fans. So exactly. Um, all that good kind of stuff. Yeah, we, we did um, oils and. When balsamic, my mother and I so did our stuff. when my mother and I did our Mediterranean cruise, we had a, a big flavor of um, Greek foods and, like you said, Mediterranean style foods mm -hmm. on our trip. It was awesome. Okay, so we got a couple of wines here. We actually have the um, the Domaine Scuros Scuros Mos Mosco Bolero, um, which I'm thinking is going to be kind of a sweet wine. I'm expecting. A nice flavor, definitely Moscato flavor. This cheese is fantastic. Oh yeah, you're gonna like this. It's a nice Moscato there. It's actually a Moscow Polero, which is a Greek wine. Now Gary Vee used to always say that Greek wines are very interesting now. In past episodes, past years on Travel with Rick, Ken and I have tried the Greek wines and we weren't that impressed, but um, actually that's not bad right there. This is very good. Liking that, yeah, liking that. All right, so then we've also got a Syrah here, so I'm going to hold that you know, this to go is... along with our um, uh, our gyro. Mm -hmm. We've actually got a chicken gyro with tzatziki sauce, which in past years has actually been um, a little bit of a different dish. So, oh, really? You know, the gyro is, um, yeah, it's been like a chicken uh, pita thing, so this is going to be kind of nice with the gyro, I think, which is, I guess, a lamb and... 
kind of neat concoction here in the gyro. So that's going to be kind of good. So I'm going to try the Syrah with this. Okay. You have a do bite that. here. You need to try this cheese here, honey. This is really good. Huh? This is a griddled Greek cheese with pistachios and honey. So it's a cheese that has like some kind of covering over it with the honey and the pistachios. Yeah, so the Syrah is really nice, particularly with that um, gyro. It's really, really good. All right, so I am gonna try the cheese. Now, you know, yep. this this cheese we passed on last year. Really? It was just really hot. Oh. Not the cheese, it was a really hot day out here. Oh, so and we just thought, no, I'm not in the mood for a fried cheese. So yeah. we'll see how this goes now. So is that what it is that they, they that's a fried they fry it well, or some kind of hard, some kind of hard crust on it? Yeah, that they, they griddle it. Gr it's like a griddle oh, cheese. So okay, that's on it. On a flat that's top, they're grilling it. There's a little bit of a charred crust there. Mm-hmm. Really good. Yeah, it is really, nice, really isn't it? Yep. I'm digging. It. I'm not really sure. I didn't really know what to think about that. Okay. Going in for more calamari. Huh? I am. All right, so here, try some of this, and try a little bit of the Syrah. This is the gyro. Let's see what you think there. And I know you're not a big red wine drinker, but try just a bit of that because that's that's what I'm going to call the pairing here. Okay. It tastes good together. Yeah, it goes well together. Mm -hmm. All right. So then the white, I'm thinking some of this. Mm. It's good. Yeah, this, you can't go no, wrong with grease. This food is delicious. So you're liking that. All right, mm -hmm. so then the last thing we have to try here is the spanakopita. Oh, yeah, that's going to be delicious also. I can just... Okay, so we're just going to pick this up, and I'm just going to grab a bite sure. of this. Is that filio, filio mm -hmm. bread? Mm -hmm. Or exactly. sh wrap, uh, sheets or something? All right. And um, this year, Disney is putting the little vegan... Um, indicators or icons next to it so definitely no meat in that so for all you um, vegan and vegetarian um, food and wine goers that'll definitely work for you there I want to try a little bit of this with it that's awesome whoa we've got things falling that's kind of cool all right and then the last thing we have good. is we have another little and that a cute glass we have another little thing here this is ouzo and the Greeks say a glass of chilled ouzo is the perfect companion to all things. So we don't even have to choose what we drink this with. <laughs> wow. Well, yeah. yeah it's, it smells like a sambuca, but it's not thick. Ooh! Yeah, yeah. you it's, have that. <laughs> it's not <laughs> thick like a sambuca as an ah. after dinner drink or anything. Yeah, that has a little burn on the end. It, it does. <laughs> it's, it's a lot thinner, but if you like sambuca, You'll love this, except this does have a little bit of, of, of a burn going down, but it's very good. That's Especially very nice. if you like it definitely wakes you up. Yeah, yeah, definitely a licorice flavor to it. Um, uh, it's, uh, it's a good accompaniment to something. Um, I'll stop there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try some Nice more after this. dinner. That's nice. Mark it out. Finish what do you it think up. about the Spanish Open? Oh, I love this. I knew, I could tell by looking at it that I knew I'd like it. Very good. Is that what's inside there? Um, spinach, spinach, probably some feta cheese, ah. uh, some Greek cheese. Mm -hmm. Very good. No meat. It's a vegetarian dish, so very good. Really, really good there. All right, so I think that kind of wraps up our taste of Greece here. Another couple of things we wanted to point out by uh, Greece: who sponsors travel with Rick, mm -hmm. sweetie? We kidded about it all along that uh, King, that um, we're sponsored by. Kingdom Magic Vacations. We haven't kidded about that, but we, we say that it's given a, a generous grant from you in Kingdom Magic <laughs> Vacations. So uh, personally with you here now, I'd like to say thanks for allowing us all the month of October to bring our wonderful viewers and friends out there shows like this. So thank you very much for that generous grant. We sure. really appreciate Kingdom Magic Vacations. And speaking of Kingdom Magic Vacations and Greece, 
Yeah, nice little segue there. We have an Adventures by Disney. Well, we don't. Um, we offer an Adventures by Disney from Disney to all of you guys to Greece. It's a great itinerary. It's a wonderful thing. And also, um, not just an Adventures by Disney, but Disney Cruise Line has a Greek Isles cruise in 2014. We already have some friends on that cruise. Mm -hmm. And... Um, like have some more friends like you on that cruise that'd be kind of cool so the Greek Isles are an awesome place to visit you can check out great food like this and if you're not able to go to the Greek Isles what a great great opportunity to get to Epcot to get to World Showcase and be able to experience food and wine and ouzo from Greece you know so it's really been a pleasure being able to uh, bring you today to Greece right right and to if you're interested in going on one of these trips you can give us a contact our website is kingdommagic.com and or you can give us a call on our toll number that's on there and one of our agents is available to take your requests and uh, plan the plan. perfect magical vacation to Greece Absolutely. or any of the over 20 destinations that Adventures by Disney goes to and all the wonderful itineraries for Disney Cruise Line and even to here Walt Disney World in Florida and of course Disneyland in California as well so that's awesome Last thing, that's a cool little pen you got going on there. Yeah, see my uh, tribal with Rick? Yeah. So remember, all month long, all the way up to November 11th, we're going to be here. Well, not every day, but if you see me or one of our team around, come up and say hi. We'd love to meet you. We'd love to give you a handshake and a hug. And we would love to give you some cool swag like that and maybe even yeah, one of our cool little... Um, pins, buttons there that, uh, that you talked me into getting, which are just awesome. So, the last thing we need to do, baby, is we need to rate this food. <laughs> so, we have a rating system okay. this year. Okay. So, it's one to five. All right? Okay. And um, so, we're not going to rate the wine, but we are going to rate the food. So, let's start out with this. So, on a scale of one to five wine bottles are our little icons for that. So, what would you give that? And you can go have these too. So, if you want to break a wine bottle like that little sound effect John didn't even have to do that man. I did that one yeah I'd say four and a half four and a half wow that's awesome you really like that huh? I did right. I did very, I, very I cool. would have liked to have had some more of the bread with more it, pita though. bread well maybe yeah. we can take some of this from, uh, uh, from our gyro there, there you go that, our gyro. Gyro. all right and then so the spanakopita what are you gonna what five. are you gonna give that a five whoa you are generous man I you're a lot really? you're a I lot just, more generous just, than some of our previous guests oh uh, well say. this so is five a good on menu that. okay yeah it is a good menu I'm glad you got grease so the cheese definitely a five whoa Oh, ding, ding, ding! <laughs> and then um, for the gyro, what are you going to go there? I'll do a five on that too. Wow, so look at there. Four and a half, five, five, five. Wow, that's pretty incredible. Okay, yeah, I so, would, and I don't normally go right. with the highest scores. Sure, so. yeah, right, obviously. Okay, so but now on this service. one, yeah, so on this one, I'm going to have to go a three on this. I mean, really? I liked it, but... You know, the olives, number one, just not a big fan. So if you're an olive fan, take that into consideration. I'm not, so that's probably why I'm rating that there. Um, like Leslie said, it just had a couple of small slices of pita bread in there. So, you know, probably could have used more bread. Not really cool, not really really crazy about the two spreads. The calamari was good, so I'm going to go three there. Spinacopita was really nice. I really like that. Going to go a solid four on that. The fried cheese. Yeah, it was good. It was still just a little greasy for me. I mean, you can tell just on the bottom of the thing there. I mean, I know they got to cook it in olive oil or do something with it to get it to cook, but not a real, real big fan of the cheese still. So I'm going to go with three on that. The gyro, different story. All right, you put lamb and cook it, and you cook it in that thing. You know, you guys have seen it when you've walked into a Greek restaurant, that big spindle thing. That, they, that just looks awesome to me. I wish I had one of those in my house. That's how much I like that. You take that, combine it with pita bread, a little less than tomato, and some tzatziki sauce. That's awesome. So I'm going to go a solid four on that. So there you go. We've got uh, a five and a three. We've got mm -hmm. a. I said four and a half. Oh, five and four and a half. Thank you. And then we've got a five. Go ahead. I said four and a half, and you said three. Okay, four and a half and three. That's yeah. what I'm saying. So, oh. and then we've got a five and a three, or watch I the said, tape. Yeah. yeah, you gave it a five. And uh, then we've got a five and a four on that, and we've got a five and a three on the cheese. So that's where we're at for that episode, or for that that round of food. And uh, pretty cool. What else do you yeah. think about Greece? Anything else? No. You liking that ouzo though, huh? Well, that's this is the ouzo over here. This oh, you but you did like the ouzo, yes, right? Yes, I you do like the like white wine as well. And too, I do right? like the this, yeah. 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 I like really I like nice. this and the ouzo. All right. Well, I think that's going to wrap it up for Greece, right? All right? Anything else? No. 
Right. Well, guys, thanks a lot for watching. We enjoy so much being able to bring you episodes like this from around Epcot's Food Line Festival. You know what? We've got a few more left. Where our goal is to get you all around this World Showcase Promenade, taste everything, and bring it all to you. And we'll keep doing that as long as you guys keep coming back. We'll see you right back here tomorrow. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks, honey. Thank you. So long, everybody. Bye.